if you are struggling with FPV, if you're feel, feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like you can't do this. <laughs> ah, trees, ah! <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. If you are in this hobby and it is not going the way that you want it to do, I do want to say it gets better you will have those times when after you will do all this learning and it is so much work. The barrier to entry is the biggest limiting factor of why we don't have more FPV pilots today. The usability is absolutely terrible and it's my job to make it better for you guys. That's why I do this. I try to make content so people can learn and make informed decisions on not only what to get to fly, but also how to fly. You will have those times when everything feels like it's not going right, but when it does, and this is very important, stick with it because you can do it. It is not complex most of the time. It is just not easy to, to ingest all that information and then put it together. And you're building an aircraft with some crazy technology that is doing some really, really impressive things. If you look at what you are actually, you are taking a bunch of components, you are learning to solder, you're putting them together, you're possibly doing some programming or typing some weird things in a CLI on beta flight trying to get like your VRX tables or something set up. You're learning about UARTs, you're installing things. A lot, of, a lot of these pilots have never even used a computer before when you have to say, hey, just go into beta flight. Okay, now I've got to go to GitHub and download some strange software onto my computer and run the configurator. And then I'm going to run another one, which is like ELRS and learn how to bind that up and put that bind phrase on my radio. And now I'm connecting to Wi-Fi on a smartphone. I'm 70 years old. I never had to do this back in my day. We just put like a crystal in the radio and we, we pressed go on our planes and then don't even now let's now let's start with our digital system like okay well let's put that in i've got to bind that up is that on the same version where's this firmware i need to update that oh my gosh is this is too much what channel do i use and now i'm in the field i've learned all about battery and lipo saving lipo charging we're in the field and uh you do all that and then sometimes you might crash especially for a new pilot you're going to crash straight away I am just here to say, after all that, it is worth it. You will have an awesome time. It is an amazing, life-changing hobby, and you will never look at the world again uh, without thinking about FPV because that's what it's like. When you, when you actually things start to click as well and you start flying around and you are less, everything's working. You've got it all kind of, it's kind of doing what you want, but now it's just your brain that is not doing the right thing when you've got your hands on the sticks and you're trying to fly, when that clicks and the drone starts going naturally and it feels like the same as if you were just walking and the drone is going where you want it to go, that moment is such a special time that when that does happen to you and I'm telling you it's worth it, please remember that. Uh, I remember what it was like for me when when I was actually, man, I'm flying. I'm, I'm actually flying and not just stressing out. I can do this and uh, it, it will be worth it. You're gonna make. You're gonna meet awesome people. Your hobby that you can you can transfer these skills that you are learning. It will be worth it. That's what I'm trying to say on this huge rant. If you are struggling with FPV, if you're feel, feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like you can't do this, I'm here to say, yes, you can. Soldering is intent. Is is intimidating, but it's not hard. Everybody can do this. And I think my seven year old daughter with my guidance of saying, okay, this is what you need to do. This is your next step. She could actually build her own drone. And so if a seven year old kid can do it, there is no way that you can't do this as well. So I'm just here to offer a bit of support. Yes, it can suck. I relate. I know what it's like. I still go through some of those days, like trying to learn this wing and get things working and you can waste an entire day, launch it and then watch it explode uh, 50 feet in front of you in the field and be like, man, Back to the drawing board, let's do this again because I'm I'm here to say that it gets better. So just a little bit of a motivational speech there. Someone's saying, you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's a chance you guys can get flying. 